It's so hard to know. Yeah, we can I know. Incredibly narrow path. Yeah, it gets a little rough sometimes. All right. Do I have 12? I think I got 12. But yeah. All right. It's fine. It should be enough to get one in skill regen. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I would only ever come back here once I've taken care of a swath of side quests. Yeah, and eventually I gotta start selling my crap too. All right, let's see. Do I have anything worth equipping? I have personal doubts about that, but may as well go ahead and take a look, shall we? Nothing doing. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, nah. No, nah, it's not really worth it. Not for losing that much of your health. Ooh, wait. No, no. Too, too, way too much. Ugh. It's all just RNG priest. That's is very funny. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a real crap shoot. Mm. Mm. Now at that point the gain no, to your health that's, is, yeah, the that's, gain to your health is too low. Yeah, if it was like And since you're so focused on your skill regen rate, you don't want to lower that too much. But, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm not feeling any of these. Fuck it. So it goes. We ball. Now it's the same place as Oh no, it's down there. Down. Okay, I remember it was in the top hole before. I guess not. Uh, we got a couple of things we're doing up here. So we're gonna come back up on that. Checks out. All right, time to go to the outside world. I like how it's literally just one guard uh, guarding a door to a literal other dimension. Have I never noticed before that when Marisa smiles, she turns it into a fang girl? <laughs> I, I, I've, been, that... I've been glancing at it occasionally myself, but hasn't I, really been too. Yeah. I was gonna say, has that been happening the entire time, and I just never noticed? Hmm. -mm. I'm glad we're mentioning the dream again, too, because that's probably a plot that we're going to need to follow up on eventually. Also, it's a, it helps out a lot that both, uh, so far, her uh, adventures aren't being taken that seriously, and we have had almost nothing to do with Simi Reko. Yeah, seriously, so this is more just straight exploration on her part in order to just check things out. Yeah, it's a lot more fun. And eventually, the story will actually become a story, and it'll actually be good. I that's imagine that might actually happen towards the end of this area. Yeah, once, even now is one of the most uh, first pivotal plot points. Yeah, once uh, the story starts actually unfolding. Yeah. Come back here. Okay, so how much is it worth? Okay, can we go up there? Also, the lack of textures. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oof. We really do have to make sure that we can fit on the switch. Yeah. Okay. I am definitely switch back to New York to brief right now. Yeah, there's a uh, lot of enemies coming at me in huge areas. Ooh. Oh, wait, I didn't even... I put the wrong one. Go figure. <laughs> Oops, that explains that. You can have empty buttons if you want to do a challenge run. Only do your physical attack. I don't think that would really be a challenge run. That would just be, um, just take a bit longer. That technically is if you're restricting yourself in any way. Could, now, that begs the question. Could you feasibly do a Nuzlocke run like that? Or how would you do a Nuzlocke in this kind of game? No, I don't think you could because you don't really stand to lose anything. Unless you're like, um, every time I die, I uh, lose the use of one button. If I die yeah. more than six times, then it's a full restart. Yeah, and it seems like an easy enough kind of game that you want, that it'd probably be more feasible to do a no-hit run. Actually, that would be pretty hard. Fuck. That crow tried to bomb me. Go figure. Nope. Well, these ones are real. I don't really see the uh, see the appeal much in trying to apply the uh, rules of a Nuzlocke to any uh, non-standard or, I guess, non-Pokemon type of game. Because it feels like there's not much to be gained and not enough uh, variables to worry about that would make it think long term. Yeah. Man, I see these always think they're gonna heal me whenever I break one. God damn it. Okay. Nothing doing yet. All right. Wait, yep. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I did a rotation. I was like, okay, if it locks me into the yeah. to a certain axis by now, I can just rotate this and get the other two caught in the crossfire. That did not end up happening. Yeah, that'll happen to you a couple of times too. Yeah. Ow. You can just stand on that one. So I should mention that also the the wide shot also pierces enemies now. Yeah. That is actually crazy. Hey, you're here. The weird thwomp thing. Yeah, uh, the ghost boss from uh, Galaxy. Which, oh yeah, to, go, uh, to wrap around back to the Mario thing, Galaxy is a game that I've tried to play 
uh, twice and never gotten more than five or six hours in either time. Yeah, I got to maybe the second rule. I got bored of it, so I put it down and just haven't gone back to it because which double A batteries, old tech. Which double A? Sorry, you, we double A batteries. Yeah, I tried. I have uh, Wii copies of both of them and uh, the Switch version too. And yeah, I wasn't able to get terribly far either time. It's one of those cases where it's like, I guess you had to be there or I guess not have played Odyssey yet for the sake of the people that say that Galaxy is the best Mario ever made because it really doesn't feel all that special to me. In fact, I'm actually not terribly fond of uh, how it handles so, really had to, uh, had to be there to uh, to get it. It definitely seems like appeal to people way younger than I am, but I will I will say presentation wise, it is gorgeous. I will I will one percent say that. But yes, definitely. I one thing I've always just loved about Mario sixty four too is just how tight the controls are and how malleable they are. That's that especially. And, like I've tried Sunshine, I did enjoy it, but I just haven't gone back to playing more of it yet. And, Galaxy uh, feels a little too restricted sometimes. Yeah, and to be clear, this isn't an issue of you Wiimote. As this guy can tell you, much to his disgust, I actually like the Wiimote plenty. So playing with any configuration of using the Wiimote is not a problem for me. We're running into Yukari way earlier than we ever did before. Yeah. And she's like, you are dabbling in things way out of your element. Mm-mm. And we're firing her straight up, too. All right, well, let's get the early uh, game advantage, definitely. <laughs> not doing that... M well, I say not doing that much, but this is actually not... You said having done a third of her health? Yeah. yeah. The record, this might not be too bad. It's got a, a, Just don't get hit, Bob. Lol, of course. Yeah. This early on, I don't think she's going to have the uh, train attack, which is her most uh, bullshit attack. Yeah. Yeah. Because, no, those will hit you for, like, three quarters of your health. And it can hit you multiple times. I didn't realize. I saw oh, one beam. I didn't see the other beam there. Yeah, that always comes in a cross section. I feel like she is going to use a train attack, so i got to be careful about this. Good. All right. I see what I got to do. Yeah, this is a case where you I just... i got to run parallel and keep going upwards. There's that. There's also... That seems like one of the ones where it would be, like, just uh, uh, keep wiggling. You got to... Yeah. Only when oh, she's, shit. There we go. Only when she's moving towards the center is she invulnerable. Last hit got her. Damn. Good stuff. There's no point in defeating a place like this. I thought you were trying to stop me from doing things. Okay. Well, I guess you're giving us another one. Here to uh, take your requisite gym badge. Yeah, basically. I'm realizing more too that since we are getting the occult balls in her story mode too, that means we are going to end up fighting Nibiru as the final boss again. Yeah. Most they, likely. Yeah, they can only alter uh, the course of things so far. Yeah. Hey, isn't it weird how you're in this world that only has machines and animals but no humans? This outside world is not the true outside world. Ah, we sw we went to a parallel world that's not the real world that we were going to trying to get to. So we're we're dealing with we're not dealing with <laughs> two worlds. We're dealing with three worlds right now. Oopsie. Yes, technically. And if you stretch it further, I think you can go to four because you've got ew. that, that th filter did th not. That's work That's a bit out rough, as, buddy. That filter did not work out the way you wanted it to. Boy, a new fake game just does not look like it lives up to the expectations. Yeah, it's another one of those cases where it's like, hey, this seems like a cool concept. Oh, it's not straightforward. This Muso. looks better. It's not straightforward Muso like it was advertising itself to be. It's still kind of fun, but I'm less interested in your action RPG format versus if you just made it a warrior. About five hours. Yeah, someone else gave her the call ball in advance and changed the order of the story. <laughs> oh, that's funny. How do you even know any of this? How did, how would she not? Well, because I'm the mastermind. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, right. No, because she did a kickstart holes in order to draw in the bureau to destroy it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The uh, state is in jeopardy. 
Anyway, now that you're involved, you're too involved to, uh, to pull yourself away from this story, so you're going to help us. Great. You set foot in the real world, therefore you must take part in this shit. Alright, cool. You call from behind the all the <laughs> okay. Oh, we're we're being pointed to her first, okay. Yukari <laughs> Yukari is incredibly petty. And so she didn't just let uh getting her ass handed to her on the moon one time twenty years ago go so lightly. So she's like well, if anyone else can take care of that for me while I'm off doing something else, that would be really great. Long ago when I launched an assault on the moon, I couldn't even lay a finger on them. This is true. This is a real thing. Wow, okay, so there's someone who can actually top her. Yeah, that's uh, the one I was showing you last night, uh, the blonde uh, moon sister. Oh, right, yeah. Because the two of them are her and the pink one, uh, Yorihime, are twins, I think, and they are the leading, uh, the leading governing force of uh, the moon. Oh, so Yukari is giving us the orders to stop Raymu from going to the moon. Yeah, in this version, we're trying to stop Raymu from getting herself killed because she's in way over her head for the scale of threat that she's about to fight. Regular yokai and jackasses and people that decide, hey, I want to put my house here. Don't put your house here. She can handle things that are have a potential to destroy the earth are way above uh, her stature. Even though she's tangled with like Yuyuko before, but all right. That's a bit of a different story than something that uh, could destroy a planet. I suppose so. Okay, so we are just straight up establishing a hunter for Dragon Balls basically right now. Cool. Yeah. We need to get all of uh, all of the resources before she can, and we need to stop her so she uh, doesn't end up getting herself killed. Ah, we got the... Is this a smear article? Nah, just, just no. in general about uh, going to Aya, alright. Going, uh, Aya is a generally useful, hey, side quest and a couple of them. Good handful, yeah. Alright, where do we even start? Uh, may as well start here, I guess. Level 19. Ah, we're back on the bug quest. I think we can take this one. No problem. Yeah, I'm feeling confident with this one. Ugh. First of all, oh, right, we gotta give Kosuzu a heart attack. I want to make sure the cat's still go for Yes, it is. Cool. The Pass glow, control. The glow on uh, Marisa's model. Ugh. I like how it's undulating, too. With the <laughs> angle of her hair, too. That's hilarious. And they're enormous centipedes taller than a human being. In fact, we might be able to see, about to see one right now. <laughs> it's just a Bloodborne <laughs> boss, dude. Ah. There's one now, and... Not, Gives yeah, her a concussion. Th the CTE will definitely override the memory. <laughs> and we then just it just it, it. and then it just disappears out the back. Are you okay? Do you need help? Oh, we can press square dagger. That's very funny. All right, yeah. fine. We'll go take a look. See. Hey, we're supposed to go through this. Can I go through here? There's a huge hole in the side. I must have escaped through here. How do? Oh, you just walk out the front. Oh, I see. Okay. I know. It's like you told me there's a hole there. I expect one to show up out of nowhere. You're still oh, nonchalant about oh. that for having seen something that's basically like borderline nightmare shit. Yeah. I mean, for uh, the all the different times uh, types of man eating yokai out there, you'd think giant bugs wouldn't be that big of a scare. Yeah. I mean, goddamn, I think I'd get more. Uh, I, I would be more weirded up by all the like weird yokai's with their tongues hanging out of their mouths. Yeah. Ah, I don't have my bonds back. Yet. Fuck. Well, that doesn't matter. Uh, you don't need to waste it so uh so early yet. Well, I was thinking I might have to, but I could, apparently not. No, this is eventually going to turn into a stage where you walk outside, uh, run around like. Oh, oh you already got level up. Nice. We. Self defense. Okay. They came at me first, right, guys? They kind of came up with a knife. You all saw it. Did you? <laughs> We're flying in the shop now. This is so surreal. Truly, nowhere is safe now. Don't, don't break her Macintosh. No, I gotta make sure I don't break this. Even though just long, I accidentally. Oops. Yeah. It's okay. Marissa is just that sharp with the broom. Oh uh, no! This does just become. Hold on. What? 
was gonna say there's a bit of map showing off to the right. Maybe there's something there. Yeah, it kicked off even before we got onto the stage. Damn. Unfortunately, yeah. You're the one's been sending the bugs. So what's about to happen here is also a real thing, where she's setting up the bug information network. Yeah, that was it came up before too. Where she's like, bugs are the greatest source of information because it's called being bugged for a reason. <laughs> what, uh, when you uh, infiltrate somewhere. And you, uh, I don't. Wire. I don't believe puns constitute information acquiring, oh my guy. But okay. No, that's basically what it's like. I can get any information anywhere you want, anytime you need it, through my network of bugs. Holy fuck, this pattern's easy. Hey, yeah, she's a stage one boss. Hey, just there's a problem with that. Um, and wriggle. Um, you're a bu uh, you're a firefly yokai. You can uh. Communicate with bug. Regular humans cannot. Oh wow, she just went straight into it. Cross that threshold. Regular humans cannot uh, communicate with bugs, so your uh, your information network thing isn't really going to serve its purpose or come across easily at all, and people are just going to think they're being invaded. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I almost got it. That was a cool pattern, though. Yeah. Shame it dropped so fast though, but eh, whatever. There we go. There you go. Not too shabby. Okay. Also, some something Doctor Giroux's uh, bug bots. Yeah. His little surveillance drone. That even then his grandson would then go on to use. <laughs> Running that. My bugs are so cute, if you think so. But then again, I've known people who own pet tarantulas, so what the fuck do I know? <laughs> Would you? No. <laughs> that was a nice heft boost. Yeah, even though I did get one level, but I'll take this. A cobalt theft. Oh, it's Moko. Uh, just Sam <laughs> oh. challenging her to a fight. All right, cool. That's fine to me. Behold, an area I don't think we go to. Oh, wait, no, yeah, we do. We do. Ride. I was gonna say there are gonna be some areas that I'm fairly certain that we don't go to in uh Rainbow Story. Yokai are in a human village, doesn't that happen fairly often? Attacking, not shopping. Oh, okay. So she invited oh. us to go fight her, but now we gotta take care of the invaders first, which is I I like it as well for operations. Yeah, we gotta prioritize a thing happened that I wasn't expecting. God, even these fucking head things here must probably freak me more out than a human-sized centipede. <laughs> Jesus. What about the human centipede? That would be more disturbing than anything else. Not scary. Alright, let's see. Firefly dress paint. They made that Yu-Gi-Oh card that was the human centipede. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's right, the gimmick puppet card. Yeah. Which probably enough, but it's actually a half decent rank eight tool as well, I think. Yeah. You can tell that my exposure to most media and movies is kind of fucked if my first interaction with them is parody of them. The first time I heard of it was the fucking uh, South Park parody of the Human Centipede. Oh yeah, right. No, I knew about it in advance, but yeah, that that was a pretty big exposure for people. Yeah. The Human Centipede pad. We still have to do the ass to mouth thing, but uh, we um, we put this iPad on the front guy's face. Hmm. Okay, you're you're starting to lose whatever your edge was, and I think that was like 2010 or something. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I I'm in general agreement. I I think South Park did hold on to their uh their edge for parity for a good long time, but recent seasons have just been not looking amazing. So I'm like, um, okay, guys. Matt, Trey Parker, maybe you want to get some more inspiration? I don't know. We sure are in that area where, uh, era where every show has long since outlived its, uh, natural lifespan, but we have to keep it going to, uh, to make sure we hold on to our own jobs. Not I hear even, that accusation even. thrown at, at uh, Simpsons a lot these days. What's your take on that? I mean, that's generally true, but I don't think it's 
as bad as people make it out to be. Because the thing that separates how people view The Simpsons from other things is, oh, once they hit that period of, I think it's 10 years or something, it's like it went from being the best show on TV to being okay to being, no, this show sucks. How can anyone watch it even though it gets billions of viewers each week? I know there's an exact through line you can track that with Family Guy. It's actually right when the creator uh, tried leaving the show, but it, and they actually killed off Brian. Uh, that. And then walked that back. So it's just like, yeah, I can kind of you can kind of tell he just doesn't want to do the show anymore. That happened a lot more recently than most people think. That happened in like 2013 or 2014. Yeah, I know. Uh, he's uh, Seth MacFarlane has done various other projects. At yeah, a handful of times he. Did American Dad starting in 2005? He did the Cleveland he did show. He did a Cleveland. show called like A Thousand One Dies Ways to Die in the South, and that was a genuinely pretty decent movie. That was a Seth MacFarlane show. Uh, it wasn't a show; it was a movie. No, oh. it was and, uh, genuinely a pretty decent movie too. I was I'll hold by that. And he also did uh, the Ted movies, which were also pretty decently funny. So I, I heard about the first one. I didn't hear anyone like that. Yeah, that that was my. That's why I've been hearing too. But American Dad took on a second life once it became uh, an, an internet meme. Yeah. With uh, the, how quickly can you speed run American Dad? <laughs> All, yeah, American Dad feels like sometimes does also have just like some genuine inspiration going into it too. Right, yeah. Let's see. Snipe. There we go. All right. How bad was Mocha going to be? Okay, this is a little tricky. Uh, but in regards do, do, to do, do. Uh, The Simpsons, though. People are like, oh, it's uh, once it beca no, uh, became no longer the funniest, th uh, the funniest thing ever made. It became the worst thing ever made. Like, do you people have uh, any uh, original thoughts in your head or care to find out at all if something is actually good or bad or just okay? That uh, just going to let everyone else uh, think of you? Um, actually, I don't think you answered the question exactly. What? Uh, so has it gone downhill, or is it still actually pretty good? I mean, it's it is uh, definitely past its golden age, but I don't think it's bad in the same way that other shows are bad. It's like if before it was a ten or a twelve out of ten, it is now it went from that to being an eight out of ten to being like a seven, and I don't think it ever really dropped below a seven out of ten. Whereas when other shows get bad, they get actually like three out of ten bad. Like you can easily point to two or three out of ten bad uh, Family Guy. For South Park. For The Simpsons, it's a case where, at worst, it's just boring. Yeah. But not, like, offensive most of the time. This is gonna work, right? Pretty yes. sure. Okay, yeah, the Phoenix attack uh, got hit by m multiple attacks in a row, so that's what did me in before. Fuck. When you, uh... uh Upgraded that attack. Did it add uh, the extra uh, sparks coming off of it? I don't remember that being there uh, yesterday. Maybe. Are we talking about the bomb? Yeah, the extra little stars coming off. Of I it. mean, maybe. It also did get uh, a ta increased amount of hits. It's doing. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to die. Right. Moko's thing in that's also a background radiation of the story is that. Because she's immortal, she's a couple of thousand years old, and she's seen what she thinks uh, er everything uh, there is to be in this life is, so she's looking for some way to die. Yeah. It's awesome, all story in Soul Calibur 3. Because <laughs> for her, it's like, oh, she only has uh, like a couple of people still alive today that she considers friends. And they live on, they have still even for Yokai being a couple hundred years or a, or a couple thousand years still have only a natural lifespan, so they're gonna die eventually, I and mean, she's gonna be left alone. Hmm. So it's like, uh, I can only go through that so many times. May as well go out early. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, from what I've told, that's also, uh, one of the core elements of, uh, Rerun. Oh, really? Yeah, I haven't started watching it myself yet, but what I'm told is that because she's a multi-thousand-year-old elf, she's also has no uh, no perception of time, and so she'll see pe uh, see people born, see them through some of their years, and then not even know they <laughs> uh, they died until years later. It's worth knowing that she just took a drip of this uh, sip of the spring water, and 
where Raimi would be flipping her shit, she, uh, when Marissa's just like, eh, it's okay. Won't be good as magic, though. Two completely different priorities. Yeah, uh, because Raymo was looking to find the hospitable, uh, hot spring to actually set up a store in. Yeah. And Marissa is just looking for research material. Let's hit that guy. I think that's worth it. Oh, yeah, no, that is new, I think. Yeah, that I don't think was there, uh, at the beginning. So if it is, if it actually is, that's a really cute detail of visually seeing yourself get stronger. And I've only upgraded once so far. It's probably going to go up again in the near future. Yeah. Wait, did I recover this way? I did. I think we need to go back across that bridge. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yes, I believe you're supposed to jump over something. Looks like it. I'm gonna take this path over here. Yeah, okay, so there's like multiple yellow orbs too. I need to go track, I think. Yeah, you gotta go search all of them. Cool. Oh. The remix of. Uh... Okay, yeah, this is again so good. I just love I just wasn't sure for a second. I thought it might have been a <laughs> remix of. Uh... I saw that game. Uh, yeah, I know. I love that. Thought it might have briefly been a remix of Mario's theme. Yeah. Anything good here? Which... Are you, you're looking for that sulfur, huh, girl? <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah, for her, that would actually do well because she's looking for something for her uh, alchemical research. Yeah, I don't imagine ingesting sulfur is a good idea, though. But she doesn't want to eat it. She wants to turn it into uh, explosives. Y yeah, I know. But she's still slurping it to test it. And I'm like, maybe you don't want to do it for a raw spring water, girl. <laughs> Taylor tells me the acidity in them can go fucking high. I believe it. And actually, like, scalds you, like, straight up. Not gonna lie. There's, um... There's one of the earlier plots in Dr. Stone is... They're trying to get, uh... They're trying to find a way to, to contain uh, so, uh, some amount of sulfur because they're trying to use its base components as uh, part of a cure-all drug. Hmm. And so they have to go to a sulfur lake, and they can't get too low to the ground because at uh, the actual height that that uh, chemical... <laughs> if I use my magic, I might explode. Yeah. At the height that it, uh, that it uh, hovers off the ground, if you got too close to it, just uh, just inhaling it or just sniffing uh, a cloud of sulfuric acid or uh, sulfuric vapor would kill you on the spot. Sounds right. So they have to build primitive gas masks out of uh, leather and animal skin. Hmm. So that was a, a neat bit early on. Cool. But actually, thinking about uh, that music, though, a minute ago... Uh, have I shown you the, uh, Toho game that Idea Factory is working on? Um, no, I don't think so. I'm surprised Idea Factory's got their hands on one. Have I told you that they're doing? Probably not. Now I'm curious. What, what genre are we working with here? Well, first of all, do you know what Idea Factory is? Yeah, I know what Idea Factory <laughs> I'm getting the distinct sense of deja, deja vu. Yes, I know what Idea Factory is. Specifically the name, because they've changed names a couple of times. They did the Love Live. They did the Yohane game, I know. No. Wait, no. I thought it was they published them. No. Okay, I know I definitely know of them, but I don't know exactly what they do. Idea Factory is Neptunia. That would explain it. Yeah, they announced uh, a couple of months ago that they're working on a uh, Toho uh, tactical uh, RPG shooter thing. Huh. And true to form, Idea Factory looked like they're working on a game made for the Vita. Checks out. And in the trailer they dropped for it a couple of days ago, I guess we'll show it to you later, it was uh, sort of amusing to me that the theme that they used for that trailer was Marius's theme and not uh, Rainbow's. Yeah. When they were doing a brief character and gameplay showcase. Like, yep, you guys really do only have one mode. A, a game made for a screen that is only meant to display it at around 480p. Probably. Which is really saying a lot. They have games on the PS5 now. Oh. 